Hey there, rock and roll junkies. Charlie here with another Grey Wolf first impression. The series where I listen to an album for the first time and then after one listen, give my thoughts, ideas, opinions, and impressions after one listen, as I said. Now, this episode we have Alice Cooper with his brand new album, Paranormal. Now, I will say, uh, I wasn't really that excited about this album. I heard the first single, of course, and I listened to it, and I, I kind of liked it. I didn't actually, no, I didn't like it at all. Um, so I wasn't that excited for this album. Um, I first heard about it a while back, but I just, uh, you know, I've never really listened to a modern day Alice Cooper album. I think, yeah, I mean, I've only listened to mostly like full albums from beginning to end, just the original classic Alice Cooper group, the original band. I listened to every single album they made, but Alice Cooper solo, I don't think I've ever listened to an album fully from beginning to end. But since this one was coming out, I was like, I might as well listen to this one. You know, I've listened to parts of other ones, like Dragon Town and Trash, but I've never listened to a full album. So here we have the new one, which is Paranormal, Paranormal which came out July 28, 2017. So this is my you know, not really a review. I want to review this album in a few months and compare what I think of. This is my first impression. So on first, first listening, just from my first listen, these, these are my thoughts. So number one, we've got Paranormal. The opening track, which is also the title track. This song was uh, co-written by Roger Glover, the bassist from Deep Purple. He also plays bass on this album. Uh, not this album, but this song, which is it's pretty cool. Um, you know, it has like this slow, then loud intro. You know, it's slow, then loud, and it's slow, then it's loud again. I really I really like that, but the intro, the intro specifically, kind of reminds me of the intro to the song My Michelle by Guns N' Roses. You know, it has that kind of like slow intro, or, or, Sad Wings of Destiny. Not Sad Wings of Destiny, um, Beyond the Realms of Death by Judas Priest. Beyond the Realms of Death. It kind of reminds me of the intro of that too, kind of, you know, slow intro, uh, almost like a like melodic intro, it's kind of weird, but it, it, it reminds me of those two songs. But, you know, then after that, after that intro, the song starts building up, which, you know, I think is pretty cool, and then Alice comes in with his voice, I really like his voice on this album, on this song. Uh, as a creepy, classic Alice Cooper vibe going through it, um, as a very cool solo that suits this song. It's a very cool song that I really, really like. Um, just for my first listen, I really, really like this song. I think it's a really good song. I don't think it's the best thing he's ever made, but I had a good time with this song. So let's go to number two. This is Dead Flies. It has this loud drum solo. Not solo, but it's this drum intro. It's really loud. It sounds like a shotgun going off. I really like it. Um, I love Alice's singing on this. And just his vocal melodies, his real catchy song. It's very, very Alice, this song. Uh, it has a great solo, it kind of has like a bluesy touch to it. It has a great groove. And, you know, it has a strong ending. It has a lot of energy going in this one. I really like this one, Dead Flies. I really like this one. First listen, I enjoyed it. Let's go to number three, which is Fireball. Musically, Fireball is it's pretty cool. But, um, I don't like the effects on Alice's voice. I'm not a big fan of vocal effects, as you know. It has a cool solo. It's an okay song. I mean, you know, it's, it's, I don't like it. I don't like it, but I don't think it's horrible. This is my least favorite one on this whole album. Um, I feel it has potential though, maybe with time for me to like it. I doubt it though, because there's just so many things going on here that I don't like, right from the vocal effects. But I'm gonna give it a chance with other listens. But from this first uh, listen to the album, I don't like this song. Let's go into number four, which is Paranoic Personality. Classic Alice Cooper intro, this one has. And um, this one is the one that I heard as a single that I didn't like as much. I didn't like the song like, at all, I think, the first time I heard it. And hearing it again, it's weird, but I, I really I really like this song. Like, I think, no, I know, this is my favorite song on the album now. It's my favorite one. It's real catchy, and I just like hearing it, you know? 
Uh, and Alice Cooper sounds great on this. It has a great bass. The lyrics are real fun. I love, I love the backup vocals when it's like paranoid, you're paranoid. It has an amazing riff and just a great solo. And I feel this one that would be really good live, like it would translate really well live. And I'd really like to hear this one live. Let's go into number five, Fallen in Love. It has a great riff. Now this song features Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top. So this song does kind of have like a ZZ Top feel to it. Like it feels like something ZZ Top would have made. And that being said, um, uh, I really like the lyrics on this one. And I, at one point there's like a reference to Billion Dollar Babies, which I think is cool. Uh, I love the solo. I think it's a good song. It's a decent song. I don't think it's anything amazing, as I said before, but it's, it's a decent song. I really like this one. It's movie to number six, Dynamite Road. That's a fun little intro there. Um, Alex is not really singing. He's like toxing on this one, kind of like. Well, this song is compared to a lot to the song "The Devil Went Down to Georgia." It's like very similar. Like I don't want to say exactly the same, but it is borderline almost the same. And I don't really like that. <laughs> that little that he basically copied that song, but. I do like this song more than I thought I would. Like, I thought I would hate it because of he copied Devil Went Down to Georgia so much, but I don't. I actually, it's kind of weird, my feelings for this song. I don't like it, but at the same time I do like it. I think it's a fun song. It has a very, like, blistering solo, which I love. It just has a fun groove, this song. I think it's a fun song, even though it's just kind of almost like a ripoff of Devil Went Down to Georgia. But... I think it's. I think this one has a lot of potential. I think. I mean, just for my first listen, I kind of like it, but I feel like with more listens, I, this one could become a big favorite of mine. So let's move to number seven, Private Public Breakdown. Uh, this one's not bad. It's kind of weird. It has a nice groove to it. Um, I might have said Fireball was my least favorite, but I think this one's my least favorite on the album. I really don't have anything to say besides that that it's not bad and it has a nice groove. I don't like, that's the only positives I can say about it, because I don't really like it, besides that. Uh, you know, this and Fireball are just like down, down in the list for me. Let's go to number eight, Holy Water. Uh, I love Alice's singing on this, and his voice throughout, it's a very upbeat song. It has like trumpets on it, which I think is fun. It's a fun song, um, but lyrically, I don't know. I feel it, it's it's pushing, it's, it's getting a little, a little bit, a little bit preachy. You know, Alice is a born again Christian, of course, but I don't, I mean, I've never listened to his modern albums since he became a modern born again Christian, so I don't know if he's done this before, but you know, there's parts in this song where it's like, praise the Lord, and I'm just like, this is, this is pushing it. This is just a little too much, because here's the thing, it's just Alice Cooper, the character of Alice Cooper has this like, sort of like evil, theme going for it. He's kind of like a villain and then he's here singing about the Lord and it's just it's kind of weird for me. It just it's kind of um it just makes me just a little unnerved hearing that come from Alice Cooper. So it sounds kind of almost like a church song you would hear in a church. Um it's really weird. It's really weird and it just left me a little bit uncomfortable, but I don't think it's that bad. I think it's a fun song. But let's move into number nine, Rats. I really like the drums on this one. Um, a lot of people say this album has a weird like vibe because of the drums, because the drummer from U2 is playing on this. He's playing on the whole album, and um, it is a weird vibe he gives it, but I feel like some of the songs work, while some of them don't. On this one, I really do like the drums though, and lyrically, I'm not sure what it's about. I don't know if it has like, uh, if it's about rats or about something else, I, I didn't really focus on lyrics that much from this first listen. But I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad. But then I don't think it's great either. I think it's decent. It has a crazy solo though. It's actually pretty amazing, the solo on this one. So I'm gonna... I don't really remember it now, actually, doing this review. I don't remember it. I just am basing this off my notes. But I feel like maybe with some more listens, I might like it. I might even remember it. <laughs> Let's go into number 10, which is The Sound of A. Uh, this is a really cool sounding one. 
it reminds me of Hey You by Pink Floyd. Now Bob Ezrin produced that song, Hey You, from The Wall, and Bob Ezrin produced this album. Now Bob Ezrin has a famous history of making albums with Alice Cooper, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was his idea to make this sound like Hey You, but musically it's very much like a classic Alice Cooper, kind of like in the vein of the Ballad of Dwight Fry. That's what I'm getting from it, from this first listen. I really love this one though, it has a great solo. A lot of people say this is the best song on the album, and I think I would actually agree with that. I, it's not my favorite, as you know, Paranoic Personality is my favorite, but as far as just musically trying to just channel Alice Cooper, classic Alice Cooper, I think this is the closest to the mark. I feel everything else gets around the mark or just misses the mark, but this one on the mark. Uh, but you know, I think it's I think it's a really good song. And I do think it's the greatest one on the album. So this kind of number 10 that finishes the album, but if you have like the deluxe version, there's a second disc, and on the second disc there's two songs which are featuring the original living members of the original Alice Cooper band, as you know, Michael Bruce on guitar, Dennis Dunaway on bass, and Neil Smith on drums, as well as, well as Alice Cooper on vocals. So the original band, the, you know, the living members got together and made these two songs. Now, first one is Genuine American Girl, or I think Genuine American Girl. Alice, Alice Cooper sounds great on this one. Uh, it has great bass, it's a fun song. It sounds like, mm, like a 70s, song, like a song that would come from the 70s, and I love the drums. These songs, I will say, they sound like old songs. They, song, they sound like something from the 70s, but they don't exactly sound like Alice Cooper's songs from the 70s. You know? It, it's kind of like... It's it just any other band from the 70s, except Alice Cooper, it kind of sounds like. I don't, it's just, it, they're kind of weird. Like, I feel like this band is, these guys are like kind of, they haven't really performed with Alice Cooper in like, ages, so I kind of feel like they're kind of rusty. I think with more work, they might have, you know, make something a little bit closer to what they used to do back in the day. But this first song, a lot of people don't like these two songs. I like this one. I like the Genuine American Girl. I think it's a fun song. I think the original band did a good job on it. So let's go into number, uh, the second one, I guess. Uh, you and all of your friends. This song is supposedly inspired by The Who, and they wanted to try to make it sound like The Who. I don't hear that. Like at all, um, but I don't think it's bad. I, it has a great bass on it again, you know, by Dennis Dunaway. Musically, sounds like an old song, like I said, like an old 70s, maybe 60s song, but it's not exactly an Alice Cooper song. Uh, lyrically, it didn't impress me, and I feel this one is just, it's just, it's just okay. It's nothing great, it's nothing horrible, it's just decent, you know, bordering on just mediocre, but. You know, I just I like the I like the sentiment of getting the original members to come back and do two new songs. But I kind of feel like they also missed the mark on this album. I feel this whole album kind of missed the mark. So to wrap it up, I think it's a fun album. I will say that it's fun. It's a fun listen. I just don't think it's very like consistent, and I don't. I know Alice Cooper said this is not going to be like a regular album. It wasn't going to have a theme or anything, but. I feel like, you know, he was a little too indulgent in this one to try to please himself. He says he wants to please the fans now. If the fans enjoy this, then I, I mean, I guess, I mean, I haven't listened to any of his modern things, so I wouldn't know if this is like a sound he's developed already, that people have been used to, but I don't think it's horrible. I think it's a fun song. There's some of these songs I would love to hear live, and I feel you need to listen to it yourself. and. You know, I have to listen to it more. From this first listen, I, it's not, I'm not that excited to listen to it again. I'm just like, okay. So There's some songs that are fun here, but I feel that it was kind of misguided, this album. And a lot of his live, his members from his live band didn't play on this, you know, completely replacing the drums and stuff. I feel that was an odd choice, you know, but, you know, it's what he wanted to do, it's what Alice Cooper wanted to do, and he got it out, he got it out of his system, so I hope the next album is more consistent, more to the classic Alice Cooper sound, 
I've even heard some songs from his modern album. I haven't heard a whole album, but I've heard songs from his modern outputs. And I like the I like like the one with Slash. I think it's Along Came a Spider. And I'll bite your face off. I like those two songs. And we, this album didn't really have that kind of punch to it. But I think it's a fun album. So that being said, that is the end of this first impression. <laughs> Hopefully stay tuned for my review of what I think about it a few months down the line, maybe four or five months down the line. So like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more reviews and first impressions. And that being said, tell me what you think of Alice Cooper's Paranormal, and remember to stay metal, stay devil, and stay evil. Alright.